गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स विल स्टार्ट आवर टूडे सेशन सो प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ सिस्टम अप्रोच देन वी हैव सीन दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ इनपुट ऑन इनपुट आउटपुट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस राइट देन वी स्टार्टेड डिस्कशन ऑन फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजर we discussed definition of manager who is manager various functions like planning organizing then stopping leading directing controlling coordination right so such a functions uh, of managers we have seen uh, and this discussion also we have made uh, with the help of some of the examples right so these are the functions we seen in previous lecture also we discussed uh, social responsibilities and ethics in managing so partial discussion we have completed related to social responsibility and ethics uh, related a part uh, today we are going to discuss and uh, uh, we discussed the uh, previous lecture like uh, what is the social responsibility what are the ethics right then we have seen uh, social responsibility related workers uh, related to consumers like uh, you can say uh, customers owners supply related responsibility government related responsibility then uh, society related responsibility then uh, uh, i think we were at ethics in managing right so at this point so this much discussion we have made in uh, previous uh, past lectures and today we are going to discuss ethics in managing planning uh, in detail uh, discussion will be there uh, related to planning uh, there we are going to discuss like meaning of planning what are the types of plan what are the steps in planning what exactly process is there in planning right and another last part is uh, decision making so this much discussion we have to make today uh, let us start with uh, uh, ethics in managing ethics in uh, managing so friends uh, ethics means uh, uh, you you may heard like uh, ethics and values right uh, that kind of uh, uh responsibilities related uh, to employees related to family related to piracy corruption environment related pol uh, means pollution related thing so these ethics related uh, also some of the parameters you need to consider while managing as a manager you have to consider some of the ethics for example uh, individual perspective ethic so one of the ethic uh, you need to consider i uh, means you you should consider everybody's uh, perspective what everybody is telling that you have to consider and it comes under you, you should be a, uh, this uh, you should be in a democratic mode you should not be a autocratic mode autocratic means something like uh, in marathi we call it as hukum shai paddhati cha lok shai paddhati cha thoda sa vataran rahile pahije so uh, here individuals perspective ethics i need to be consider right so every uh, thought every decision should not be uh, pressed on everybody right so you have to consider their opinions also then family related ethics like uh, uh, you can say um, manager should not be assign the responsibility then uh, uh, that will not hamper the family of employee so manager has to consider his uh, family related ethics also that person should not give ethic uh, this uh, responsibility which will hamper his family suppose some uh, birthday or some family function is there and unnecessarily you are giving uh, some burden on that day uh, after the uh, office hours right so actually in short uh, remember as a manager you have to consider uh, their family life also right so so that you will become a good manager also so family ethics uh, you have to consider you have to understand everybody's capability who can do what task and then assign the work and uh, uh, always take the care of uh, their family also like their family should not get hamper right uh, sometime uh, you ask that person to always visit outside like in another state uh, randomly like uh, in up sometime in kerala sometime in karnataka uh, like that 
so uh, this is the problem to everybody's family yes sometime it is there but uh, every time you should not give that task to one person only and uh, ultimately you have to take care of that particular person's family also and you should not assign responsibility which will hamper the employee all right then another uh, ethics violations also are there so you, as a manager you have to consider like a piracy all right so this is a very well known word piracy ne apan sorry manto so in industry also these things are happening like some person some designer some manager may uh, disclose the design drawing or product outside and uh, in return of it uh, he start earning the money so this is a very dangerous uh, ethics uh, is a violation of ethics so piracy if you found like you are doing piracy of uh, uh, of software you are doing piracy of drawing design and uh, from that you are started earning the money so remember as a manager you have all rights in your hand right you are the boss there you have all access of all accessories all designs drawings especially design and drawing related piracy is more uh, sometimes people give software outside also or resources outside and from that uh, people start earning money but uh, if you want to share the resources then legal procedure should be there so specially uh, product design and drawing related piracy is the very uh, big crime you can say in industry right so uh, this ethics you should not violate uh, piracy is the very very uh, dangerous thing in industry right so uh, sometime employee also try to uh, do this thing like they carry pen drive they copy something from their uh, transfer to another organization right so sometimes people uh, actually it is a role of organization like you should not share your knowledge to other organization as you are employee of one of the organization you should share your knowledge only there but still people start uh, sharing the knowledge outside right so this is not allowed in the organization sometimes you uh, carry pen drives and you try to copy up, uh, things from that and you uh, uh, take it outside the organization it is uh, related to piracy right so uh, you should not do this thing but uh, uh, companies are also taking care like uh, they are disabling pen drives right so not uh, able to connect your pen drive this uh, arrangement they are making but still uh, technology people find the alternative ways and they try to uh, transfer uh, this thing outside the organization so remember friends uh, as a manager or as a employee also you have to remember uh, you should not uh, do anything you should not any uh, copy anything right and uh, take it outside right or you should not use it for personal use as it is a organization's property that uh, care you have to take then next ethic is their corruptive way towards the patent so friends uh, patent laws are little strict as everybody is knowing uh, if somebody is filed patent somebody is somebody is having patent on particular product so uh, sometime manager think like uh, take uh, another person's patent and start uh, producing in the organization it is not a, a proper procedure you have to follow a due procedure you have to do legal procedure and then uh, either you can take it on rent or you can purchase it also or uh, you can take consent from that person to produce like that a proper due procedure you should do and then you should use others patent right otherwise you should not do it because there are legal issues right so uh, that's why uh, this is a ethic violation you can say so you should not use anybody's patent without due procedure waiting so patent that person has made patent means uh, he is having his uh, all uh, especially for 20 years he is having all rights okay so uh, one more thing i want to tell uh, in our college uh, if you want to file any patent uh, so uh, you can contact me uh, if you have your concept along with you uh, within uh, miss here we can file patent easily okay so that we, we are doing for students also the next one is that uh, environment pollution so this is a very uh, dangerous uh, mindset of uh, many organization owners or managers also so uh, pollution norms are already there for each and every organization 
related be many mechanical industry forging industry or you can say uh, this uh, casting industry chemical industry for every industry uh, certain pollution norms are there and it is uh, owner's responsibility and uh, uh, manager's responsibility to follow all the norms but uh, for higher uh, production or uh, due to um, internal issues people are uh, do not follow the uh, pollution norms so it is also comes on under the ethics violation so uh, you have to consider example i want to tell uh, you want to produce the product and uh, only uh, 1000 component in that particular plant so you, you should follow it right so certain norms whatever are related to that waste water you should treat it right greenery related things you should uh, uh, treat, uh, make treatment on that particular waste water and then uh, uh, you can dispose in uh, to take care right so these are the ethics violations piracy corruptive way towards the patent environment pollution right so this comes under the ethics violation so it's manager's responsibility means yours responsibility right so you have to take care of it getting so anybody want to add here related to ethics violation or related to ethics if you become manager then uh, follow right or uh, something you addition you can do here like i have told individual related uh, perspective ethics family ethics ethics while their corruptive way you want to add anybody else take one uh, so and so thing should be considered as a ethics these are the certain examples i have told to you people ashe asha prakarche ethics tumhi consider karayla pahije but i want to ask like anybody else from your side like sir no no one more thing i want to add is there anybody no no problem okay so uh, the uh, next uh, part or uh, next section of this particular unit is planning is so, planning related things today in details so at the beginning of the uh, unit we have discussed related to meaning of planning right anybody remembered what exactly planning is in short anybody want to put in chat box like sir uh, oh, planning is nothing but so and so what you understood because we discussed uh, some of the part of planning at the beginning of chapter we have seen uh, it is a function of uh, manager right planning is a function of manager and there we discussed a lot uh, in a planning so what exactly planning is what do you remember from that not remembered anything no problem let, let us discuss once again as here i in detail discussion we have to make like what are what is the meaning of planning what are the types of plans what are the steps in planning so uh, let us discuss in detail one by one so friends we discussed at the beginning of this unit like deciding in advance what to do and how to do in future we in advance that's why this deciding in advance what to to do it in future right so that is a 
one more thing i want to tell uh, planning is uh, a mental process required foresight and sound judgment so mental we take for mental it, it is not like that right mental means manasik kriya hai process hai theek hai so uh, it requires foresight and sound judgment right so uh, planning if you are want to make planning in industry you should have for strong judgment right so judgment is very important part uh, so that you, you, your plan may execute and remember planning is a continuous process it is not like that today uh, i have done pros, uh, this planning for pursue and so purpose and it will continue for many more years it is not like that right or for many uh, months it will continue it is not like that planning is also a continuous process getting if it is a plan is not executed due to uh, any of the reasons then uh, planning should be done continuously whenever required getting so that's why planning is called as a, a continuous process and one more thing you have to remember a uh, while planning you have to consider present and past information and then you have to start planning or you have to complete the planning process getting so this is a very important guideline so if you are preparing a planning for future so you have to consider present and past right today's situation you have to consider previous happened thing you have to consider and then you have to plan for future because uh, uh, if you are having bad experience in past right of uh, one of the uh, incidents in your organization so consider that also let it be bad uh, uh, experience or good experience you have to consider today's situation also you have to consider right while planning for future today what is the situation today that also you have to consider right so friends while preparing any of the plan you have to consider uh, these two things getting so uh, planning uh, basically includes uh, defining goals right establishing strategy developing for a plan to coordinate activities kya as the planning manje kya so it is nothing but the defining goals what do you want to achieve right and uh, what what is the strategy you have to establish a strategy for that and you have to develop the plan so that activity is nothing but the planning right so uh, planning word we use uh, very naturally uh, very easily in our daily day to day uh, life right but in industry uh, you have to consider uh, planning you have to do uh, study of planning previous uh, uh, current uh, things in industry rigorously you have to study and then you have to prepare the planning right so planning is not a uh, rough work sometime we think like uh, planning is a rough work right uh, because uh, uh, rough work is not useful so many time our plans never execute that's why we say plan is uh, scrap work or it is a rough work but friend remember in industry it is not like that don't take that meaning don't carry that meaning planning has weightage getting so big weightage is there in industrial management so planning uh, is the function of manager which is very very essential part and it is the beginning of any of the activity getting so don't consider it as a scrap work or waste work getting so you have to consider planning is nothing but uh, well be uh, beginning of your some some task getting so uh, next part uh, let us discuss uh, like types of plans there are so many types of plans uh, in industry depending on requirement people uh, prepare plans right so uh, for example uh, financial and non financial plan standing and ad hoc plan formal and informal plan short range and long range plan and administrative and operational plan so like that various plans are there in industry for specific purpose prepare, people uh, prepare especially manager prepare the uh, different plans getting so let us discuss what exactly that meaning of financial plan non financial plan standing ad hoc plan formal informal short range long range and administrative and operational plan let us discuss one by one so first we will discuss about the financial and non financial plan so name itself is telling uh, this plan belongs to money right 
so financial plan related to monetary aspects simple right so uh, we are not we, in syllabus there is no uh, exercise to prepare plan but uh, i have added certain types of uh, plans for your exercise so we will discuss later on this thing but at, at the, this stage try to understand what is the financial plan financial plan means monetary which is having monetary aspects monetary means finance money related aspects monetary aspects means money related aspects like how much money is required for our uh, working capital is required this capital is required right uh, uh, how much money is required for purchasing inventory so that information is there in a financial plan or sometime uh, how much money is required for tax paying or you can say uh, nowadays gst you can say then uh, retirement uh, expenses of employee or you can say uh, salaries of employee new purchase so uh, all things comes under this uh, financial planning and non financial plan means uh, which uh, never includes any of the monetary aspects but it includes or it relates to physical sources physical sources means like your machinery related and uh, your land related your infrastructure related so which is not having any of the monetary aspect such a plans are non financial plans so name itself is indicating financial and non financial right one is having monetary aspect one is having physical resources sources uh, uh, you can say aspects the next plan we have uh, discussed at the beginning standing and ad hoc plan so standing and ad hoc plan so uh, i think uh, both words uh, something uh, looks new for you so let us discuss standing plan means a plan which is a permanent in a nature that plan is called as a standing now uh, permanent in nature means what actually such a decisions uh, are such a plans are uh, never change right standing plans people are not uh, they, it is permanent right so uh, they ensure quick decision and action whenever need arises what is the uh, standing plan standing plan ensures quick decision and action whenever need arises means if any situation arises in the organization critical situation so people refers to standing plan and ad hoc plan means a uh, plan uh, which are made for specific matter according to the requirement so suppose there is a fire in the organization due to any of the reason let us consider electrical short circuit then what action should be taken so it is there in a ad hoc plan right so the, these are the two types of plans in organization the next a uh, very simple uh, types of plan like a formal and informal plan so generally uh, formal plans are written and uh, informal plan just uh, it is a thinking only thinking in mind like asa jala tar asa karuya right so it is uh, there is nothing uh, in written just oral you can say oral plan right so just thinking of manager it can be a, and it is also called as a informal plan the next uh, type of plan is a short range plan and long range plan so uh, remember friend for a certain uh, classification uh, is very important for mcq purpose so that's why remember uh, this uh, concept so uh, generally from name itself you can identify what exactly it means so short uh, range and long range plan so friends uh, generally short range medium range and long range uh, these are the three types of according to range and uh, uh, planning which is less than one year plan which is made for uh, less than one year only that plan is called as a short range plan means for very less span of period medium range means planning relates to one year to three years it is a medium range plan and plan more than three years 
plan made more than three years is a long range plan getting so uh, according to span of, in years that classification is made like short range or, or long range or medium range and then uh, administrative or operation and operational plan so as you know friends always planning is done at various levels so top level management middle level management lower level management means our top level management means uh, owners directors related uh, you can say middle level means uh, administrative kind of uh, management and lower level means uh, that uh, level is a lower level right so top level middle level lower level so these are the three levels where generally plans are made right according to uh, their level they prepare plan so administrative plan is done at middle level right so below uh, top level management this uh, administrative plan uh, is made by middle level management and uh, this administrative plan is very very important or helpful to operational planning so what is meaning of operational plan or op operational planning those who are made at lower level operational means those who are actually working those who are operating machineries at that level or where actual execution of operation is happening at that level that plan is made that is operational plan and uh, who is helping for operational plan administrative plan getting so uh, these are the again two types of plan administrative plan and uh, operational plan so remember again in short administrative plan is made at middle level uh, management and operational plan plan at uh, lower level management getting so anything you want to ask uh, related to uh, types of uh, plans so remember uh, these are the basic plans so uh, practical exercise uh, will made during practicals uh, hours or uh, some of the exercises also i am going to give uh, so that time you can prepare the plan uh, in uh, entrepreneurship development also we have seen uh, content of plans right uh, business plan and we have seen there some of the plans right so uh, some of the exercises i, I will give but try to understand uh, this uh, four or uh, five aspects of plans like financial plan non financial plan standing and ad hoc plan formal and informal plan short range and long range plan administrative and operational plan is anything uh, anybody want to ask anything related to types of plans question is for seven mark many time asked in theory exam also for mcq also this particular bit is very important anything you want to ask Okay, I hope you understood this. Let us proceed. Steps in planning. Let us discuss steps in planning. Okay. So uh, these are the proven uh, steps. So exactly what is the planning process? All right. We have seen in general planning means uh, doing something in advance for future. but uh, there are certain proven steps or you can say it is a process of planning so now from uh, where uh, planning starts right so let us discuss with the help of this flow chart friends uh, planning starts with establishing objectives in organization every organization has objectives they have goals right so establishing objective for what you are preparing plan so you should know that objective and that objective is ultimately objective of the organization then you have to identify the real problem second step is a uh, you have to identify the real problem so uh, real problem means if you want to achieve that particular goal you are going to face problem so identify that problem and for that you have to prepare the plan then collecting and analyzing the information 
Now you have to collect and analyze the information. So which information? Like you can say, uh, the so and so problem is there, how I can avoid it, what are the method to avoid it, right? So like that information you have to collect. Then determining uh, the planning premises. So what is the meaning of determining planning premises? You have to forecast. So you have to uh, miss uh, uh, assumption on which plans are based are known as a planning premises. That assumption uh, is there for every plan some certain assumptions you have to make and that assumptions are called as a uh, you can say in short like a planning premises. What are those uh, assumptions like demand of customer, taste uh, expected by customers, so such a uh, things uh, is expected to forecast and that step is called as a determining planning premises. So this is the one step. Then identifying the alternative course of action. Identifying the alternative course of action means finding out the possible alternatives or options. What is the meaning of identifying alternative course of action? Finding out all possible alternative is nothing but the identifying alternative course of action. This is the one step. Then uh, after identifying alternative course of action means uh, you have to start identifying alternatives for uh, solutions. You have to start, uh, start finding options. Then you have to evaluate uh, you, uh, the alternative course of action. You have to uh, evaluate uh, the that particular course of action. Maybe uh, you have to take parameter for evaluation cost, time, quality, and then you have to start evaluating. Then you have to select the course of action. Now after evaluation, after studying certain parameters, you will come to know that yes, this course of action is the best or course of action means your action, you in short, you remember action. So generally people use the word in the organization course of action. So action, you have to decide your action means you have to start uh, prepare, you have to prepare their, your noting like, yes, this is my plan. I have chosen this option. I have chosen this action. I will follow this procedure and I will achieve that. And for that, you have to start taking continuously follow. Getting. So these are the uh, certain steps, uh, total eight steps are there uh, for planning. Right. So from establishing objectives of the organization, then up to follow up of the action. This is the process involved in the planning. Getting. So uh, these are the various steps involved in the planning. So anything you want to ask uh, in, in, in the, uh, this process or in the steps from establishing objectives, then identifying the real problem, then collecting the collecting and analyzing the information, then determining the planning premises, identifying the alternative course of action, then evaluation of alternative course of action and then uh, selecting the course of action and at the last follow-up action. These are the various steps involved in the process planning. Yes, anybody want to ask anything? Okay, so uh, this is about the uh, process planning or you can say planning related. So how many things we learned related to planning? We have discussed meaning of planning. Then we have seen various types of plans and steps in planning. So in exam, uh, question may be like that. Uh, illustrate the planning uh, with the help of various plans or uh, with the help of various steps involved in the planning. So you people have to explain uh, this thing. So seven mark question was asked in previous examinations. So uh, remember this, right? So you can elaborate one thing like at the introductory part, you can write the planning meaning. Then you can write the types of plans and then you can write the 
steps in planning, right? Yes, anything you want to add or should we proceed for last bit of today's discussion? Should we proceed further for today's last bit of discussion, decision making? Very interesting bit, decision making. So friends, uh, today uh, last part we are we have to discuss like uh, what is the meaning of decision, what is a decision making, uh, its <clears throat> types of decisions, characteristics of decision, uh, what are the uh, parameters involved in decision making. Let us discuss various things related to decision uh, making. But uh, at the beginning, let us discuss what is the decision, right? Nirnay manto apantala, nirnay, right? So a decision is a choice made between two or more available alternative. Very simple thing. What is the decision? Decision is a choice made between two or more available alternatives. Manje, ek don kiwa, ek dona piksha jast aplekada paryaya hai. And you have chosen one. So that is the decision. And what is the decision making? It is the process of choosing the best alternative for reaching the objective. Getting? So what is the decision making? Choosing, uh, decision making is the process of choosing the best alternative for reaching the objective. So one of the philosopher also have defined in another way like decision making can be defined as a process of choosing alternative to achieve a goal. It is the process by which an individual choose one alternative from several to achieve the desired objective. Getting so in short, you can remember decision making is nothing but choosing the one alternative or choosing the one option from several options. And for what? for desired objective, for achieving the desired objective, right? So this is a decision making. Okay, so um, decision making, uh, if you, if I ask, uh, make the decision, means what? You have two, three options and you have to choose one. That is a decision making. Getting, so uh, uh, even uh, for MCQs, right? So one question is there and there are four options are there. So you have to choose correct one means what you have to decide you have to make decision you have to make the decision like which option is correct one or two options out of that are correct like that you have to choose one two like that and that process is called as a decision making i hope you understood with the help of very uh, well known example then uh, there are certain characteristics of decision making so first thing is that decision making is a goal oriented process right so decision is not a fake process or useless process actually in industry decision making is a or everywhere decision making is a goal oriented process you are making decision let us take example you are uh, taking a decision to purchase one ton of stainless steel in your organization is it useless uh, uh, decision? No, because that person is having goal to produce some product from stainless steel. Getting so that's why he has taken decision to purchase that stainless steel one ton of this uh, stainless steel. Getting so his goal is to produce product from that. And how many product? Why he has to purchase one ton? Because uh, it is required to produce one thousand compounds. Let us take example. That's why it is a goal oriented process. Getting so it is not a useless process or uh, unwanted process. It is a goal oriented process. Getting so our daily uh, we take many time decisions and many time it is wrong, right? Many time it is wrong, but in industry it is not like that. People take decision. They have certain goals and for that goals they are making decisions. This is about purchase of material sometime, like uh, how many people are required to uh, produce certain product with the help of that material. 
how many machineries are required how many machineries should be purchased a decision karay lagto getting so uh, it is a goal oriented process it involves different alternatives in decision making you have various alternatives ha karo ka to karo ka nahi ka char parties ahe samor kutli particular material purchase karo you have alternative so in decision making it is not like that you have only one and you are, you are taking a decision no right so uh, you have two three options in front of you and you have to choose one you have different alternatives so many parties are there you have to choose one party and you have to purchase from them then it is a dynamic process it is a very fast process it is not a lengthy process or it is a not a slow process if if decision making is a slow process if you follow in your your organization as a manager then uh, you will be not a uh, growing person in that particular organization and you are not helping your organization to grow this process should be dynamic this should be a fast process it should not take too much time bare sara apan mundo nirnay nivant ghya no it is not allowed yes You, you should take certain time but it should be happened very fast bagu dia koru parwa right so it is not expected as a manager from your side so decision making is a very dynamic process and those who take uh, decisions very dynamically they definitely uh, their success rate is more it is affected by environment and decision whatever you made it is affected by environment so i want uh, your opinion for it very simple point your decision making is affected by environment tumcha nirnay ha baharcha environment ni affect kela jau shakto or affect generally environment generally affects the uh, your decision making anybody want to elaborate this point take one minute and you can put in chat box at least you, you can tell in chat box like are you agree uh, like uh, it is affected by environment can you put your no roll numbers in chat box let us take present here let me see how many are listening to me please put your uh, roll numbers in chat box let us take attendance uh, for one minute and let uh, we'll continue our discussion up to 230 put your numbers in chat box okay continue put your roll numbers in chat box and then we'll uh, continue for our further part of discussion we can put roll number once only yes all people are listening but you people are not responding i don't know if i ask to put roll number in chat box everybody started putting roll number in chat box but i am asking like very simple question decision making is affected by environment very logical thing i have asked to you anybody want to put in chat box take one minute and put in chat box just think for one minute i will download your attendance sheet from here nobody so i will tell you just one minute hmm? 
I have taken this attendance. So very simple, friend. Uh, suppose you have taken decision to visit uh, Goa, right, or any of the uh, tourist place. But there is a huge rain on the same day. So can you say like my decision is affected by uh, this rain, huge rain? You are not able to uh, visit that particular place. Yes, decision made, planning made, everything is there. Are you agree with me? So this is the thing happening in industry also due to flood, any of the environmental issue, right? So due to suppose uh, you, you need a very uh, dry environment for your production. Let us take any example of uh, grapes. Uh, you are producing manuke uh, from that uh, grapes and environment is not good. You have taken decision, you have started process, you are started uh, doing that process in uh, your uh, area, in your setup, but due to rain due to environmental effect due to environment any of the aspect it affects right even some products start corroding also corrosion of products also start happening right corrosion of product due to uh, certain moisture air in the environment right so it affects so in short i want to tell even you take decision yes today you are right for that particular decision you taken right decision today but due to environment affects it may wrong tomorrow getting so in short that's why this is a character it is important characteristic that uh, it affects the environment getting then another one is that decision making is a continuous process it is not like uh, today you have done a decision and uh, you will keep same decision for further many years so depending on situation your decision should be changed that's why it is called as a continuous process it is an intellectual process, another characteristic. Because human can take the decision, not an animal, right? So intellectual is always with human only. Even robot uh, nowadays uh, have started using the artificial intelligence, right? And they started using their intellectual for doing process, but not like human. So uh, in short, you can remember like it is an intellectual process because generally it is a decision is taken by human not uh, uh, anybody right so these are the characteristics of decision making i hope you understood this let us proceed uh, for next point like uh, factors of decision making you have to consider very uh, variety of uh, points variety of factors for uh, making decisions for example perception perception uh, of everybody is different but you have to consider everybody's perception while making the decision. You may have uh, your workers, you may have your uh, manager, you have to take their opinion and you have to consider everybody's perception. It, it is different, but you have to come with conclusion part like uh, what should be considered. Right. So everybody's perception is different. Still you have to consider their opinion, their perception for making decision. Then priority. There may be the so many decisions. So on the priority basis, you have to consider some of the points. Priority you should consider while making decision because in organization you have a small decision, emergent decision, long term decision. So for whom you should give priority? For which decision you should give priority? It's your choice, right? So you have to consider that factor also while making the decision. Then acceptability, you have to understand whether it may be accepted by my uh, general manager, manager or whether it will be accepted by my workers, my customers, right? Uh, my uh, uh, outside third party people, society, can they accept this decision? So you have to consider while making decision, you have to consider this factor. Right. So in daily routine also, we have to consider such a factors while making decision, not in industry, but our in daily routine also. You have to uh, have a calculated risk along with you. While making decision, always have calculated risk. But uh, you don't know whether it will be successful, it will be right or wrong. 
so you should have calculated risk you should have a certain calculation along with you and then you have to take the risk for that particular decision ani kai beun gapchup basun shakya nahi barobar decision to ghetlas pahije as a manager risk will be there but remember calculated risk must be there that factor you have to consider then resources while making decision you have to understand how many resources i am having how many resources i am having so you have taken decision like yes i will produce 1000 component per day but whether you are having uh, that kind of uh, facility resources manpower right so it is important while making decision you have to consider that whether i, I am taking decision for uh, this uh, target but do you have uh, resources along with me then goals what are the exact goal of your organization what is the vision of your organization you have to consider it right so without uh, goal and without uh, uh, vision of understanding vision of the your owner your organization you should not take decision what industry is expecting what that particular organization is expecting what is their goal vision relevant to that in line with that you have to take your decision company's goal is one and your decision is another it should not be like that right then values mulya manto apan tanna so you should consider values kiti pan pol ethics values ya goshti consider karayla pahije asa manun jalnar nahi like i will produce let it be pollution happen but i will start keep on producing the product yes you, you should produce but you have to consider certain value what is the demand that demand magni pan tumhi consider keli pahije so while making decision what is the demand of that that particular product then style of management various uh, styles of management are there that you have to consider like uh, whether it is a democratic style autocratic style in coming lecture coming uh, chapter there are these types of styles are there we will discuss in detail but uh, which kind of style you are implementing while making decision then judgment right so uh, these many factors you should consider and then you have to take the decision decision is not a easy process you have to consider various factors uh, you have to take uh, many things in consideration and then you have to finalize your decision okay and at the end you have to be firm on your decision after considering so many factors you have taken decision so you should not change decision at the end right decision must be firm so as a manager you have to consider these many factors for decision making and once decision is ready you should be firm on that particular decision you should not leave that uh, decision or you should not be uh, uh, you should be stable for that particular decision meeting so these are the very interesting points uh, so remember these points so some of the points remembered uh, from this unit uh, as last like uh, decision making c six is of decision making and uh, decision making types so only uh, two three points remain from this chapter uh next chapter there will be mcq test uh, next lecture there will be mcq test uh, few bits will complete remaining part will complete within 10 minutes and uh, you will get 50 minutes to solve write your test mcq test online right so you should not miss the test because your term work is based on that tests also okay so anything you want to ask if no Uh, then uh, we'll stop here okay so you can exit the meeting already you have mentioned your roll number in chat box so quit the meeting don't put roll number two times three times right we have taken already attendance leave the meeting and join next lecture